Because, what is it? Old Man Jenkins was named Michael. And Michael was the one that was playing with six mons. Making a Wigglytuff team, because why not? Dude, Wigglytuff actually might be kind of fun on Trick Room teams. Um, it's slower than Hariyama, I think. Hariyama's like base 40. I think Wigglytuff's also 40. Actually, no, Wigglytuff's like 45. Might, be, might even be faster. I don't know. Anyways, this looks really cool. Super Earthquake week. Unfortunately, um, I don't have a Garchomp. Unfortunately, I do not have a Garchomp. But I can do this. And that lead just looks nasty versus this. Uh, I'm going to say... Ooh, T-Targ kind of gets destroyed here, but... If I can deal with the... If I can deal with the Magnazone, I'm in a pretty good spot. Loki, thank you for gifting all these subs, bro. Do I want to bring Scizor? I mean, Scizor is always goaded, right? Scizor is actually always goaded, but it's going to be kind of rough to bring it to this matchup. Uh, I think I will, though. Just because, like, all of my other mods have a pretty rough time. Yeah, shame for not having the Chomp. Best Pokemon in the format. No, it's not. It's Scizor. Magnezone Flygon, that's actually great. That's actually a great lead for me. So what I can do here, uh, I'm actually going to Volt Switch on the Mag. And I'm just going to go for a Draco. On this Flygon. I just like to get rid of it. The reason I'm not staying in is because if it... How do I say it? Uh, the reason I'm not staying in is because if I did, uh, I would take more damage than I'm comfortable with. And I wouldn't really get much out of the turn anyways. I'd rather just switch into something um, that allows me to have a little bit more flexibility. If I go into my Lottic here, right? Like, there was no chance they're going for an electric move into it. Yeah, it's into the Lottie. And my Lottie is extremely bulky, so unless they go for like an Outrage or, I don't know, like a, like a Choice Banded move, I should always KO this Flygon. I guess they could also U-turn. Yeah, there's the D-Dance. Um, unless there's Sash, we should be fine. I guess I could have Ice Beamed, but I was a little bit paranoid they might be Yachi. Yeah. So I managed to pick up the K on the Flygon. And here I should be free to go into my Raichu, as it turns out their Flame Orb on the Milotic, which isn't too bad for me, I suppose. It makes it a lot easier to deal with, um, since it's probably... I mean, it might be Coil. And Coil could be really annoying, because I'm Coil, and I know Coil's annoying. But at the very least, they don't have leftovers, so uh, they have to make some decisions when recovering. And some pretty tough ones at that. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to go right out into my Raikou. And... Actually, do I do that? Maybe... Yeah, I go right into Raikou. Make sure it's the right Pokemon. I always do misclicks when I'm playing this game. I'm just really bad at that. Uh, or bad with that. And Magnezone's Sturdy is already broken, so I suppose I can just Tailwind here. If it's Flame Warp, it's probably like Coil Recover. Go for the Tri Attack. I should tank that pretty easily. And no status, which is great. Is there Dragon Pulse? Okay, that's fine by me. Also, the fact that their uh, Flame Orb means I can just click Snarl. I don't have to worry about anything like that. So I'm going to Snarl here, and I'm going to go right into my own Milotic. Watch them be competitive Flame Orb. I'd lose my mind if they were competitive Flame Orb for some reason. I'd be like, why are you doing that? Why are you running like... I mean, that... that Honestly, competitive flame arm might be the play because you can trick them into snarling you and then you get a free KO. But still, like that that'd be funny, you know? 
It'd just be a really wacky thing to do on a team. Personally, I wouldn't do it, but it would still be wacky. By the way, guys, we're at 65 viewers. That's actually one of my better streams ever since BDSP came out, or came out so I really appreciate you guys for supporting. Be sure to follow if you haven't turned on notifications. I'm going to try to stream every um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It gets a little bit tough to do it, pretty much just because I'm going to be on a, on a trip soon, but that's why I'm like mass recording videos. You hope they are? Main, please do not wish this upon me. If you wish that upon me, I'll be very upset. Um, here, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go for a light screen. Uh, because that will allow me to... I really don't need to coil. Like, nothing in the back is super threatening, so I'm just going to Scald. And get rid of this Magna Zone. Yeah, I was, I was pretty absent at the tail end of the... Of or like in the first couple of weeks of BDSP because I was at I was like working with um I was working on a lot of school stuff is what I meant to say pretty much just like school was destroying me but it's fine because now I have free time oh yeah building for BDSP is super fun Okay, check this out. I'm going to Volt Switch in the Milotic, and I'm actually going to, on my first try, connect this Hypnosis on the Slow King. Preventing the Trick Room and then just winning. Okay, that's actually a little bit of an issue. School, bro? It's pretty cringe. Become a Pokemon Master instead. Please, no. I want to be a Physicist. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess I can... I don't have to go into Scizor. I can just go into Latias and I can just Draco on the thing. Hey, first try. What'd I tell you guys? What did I tell you? First try. Anyways, time to hit a Draco Meteor. Oh, not that. Not that. Okay. I'm of the opinion that Sandaconda's G-Max move should have been something like really stupid, like G-Max Snakeo Meteor, and he just like spits up a ball of snakes. G-Max Snakeo Meteor. Uh, Draco probably doesn't KO because this, you know, this thing's a slow king. It's actually really special defensive, but it'll put it in range where a Volt Switch probably will. And nothing on their team wants to take a Volt Switch. Okay, they're also just going to discharge it, so this might KO now. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I just win by clicking Snarl now. I probably lost still learning to do competitive battles. Hey, you know, you still did pretty good. Like, you, you had some pretty decent positioning in the game, so, you know, good game. Honestly, like, if, if you're still learning to competitive battle, follow me. I am literally only a competitive battler and do, like tutorial and team building stuff on YouTube and stuff so you know if you want to if you're not already following me on YouTube there's the channel subscribe to my YouTube please but yeah you know at the beginning like when you're like just learning it's always rough you're gonna take some like really rough losses but in the end it ends up being like I don't know. Pokemon's like one of the most rewarding games you could play, in my opinion. It just teaches you a lot of skills. And most of the skills are literally just managing resources and thinking about the future. <laughs> Alright, um... 
Yeah, I just click Scald into the Magna Zone and I go for a Volt Switch onto this guy. I don't need to go for Snarls anymore. Not quite a KO, but after the, the burn, it should do it. And now I'm actually just going to go into Scizor since X Scissor will do it if it if it is recover. There's the discharge. Pokemon has only ever taken from me. <laughs> That's actually a really funny statement. Pokemon has never taught me anything. It's only ever taken things from me. Mainly my patience. Okay, yeah. I mean, I just still click Scald and uh, X Scissor. Since Bullet Punch is times 4 resisted. I feel like Scissor would be fine on Trick Room. Could be wrong. Yeah, I mean, Scissor is phenomenal on Trick Room. It's, it's phenomenal on any team because its main move is Bullet Punch, right? But if you want your X Scissors to be even safer or for your U turns to go first, then yeah, I mean, you could just run it on Trick Room too. Yeah, good game, dude. Whew. Okay. Let's get another. So that's all I want. A Series 7, no Dynamax. All I want. Alright, GLHF. Ooh, it's a rain team. Okay. Uh, luckily, I think we have the tools we need to win this. This is actually a pretty cool matchup. I'm gonna go with this. Actually, I don't think I ever bring... Maybe I do bring T-Tar. I think I bring T-Tar. I think I bring T-Tar. Even though it's like a rain matchup, I still bring T-Tar. Because I want to get rid of the rain. Latias is much bulkier than Latios, yeah. Yo. Twins. Fair and balanced format. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm gonna set up three times. <laughs> That's fine. I wasn't going for damage anyways. <laughs> voice crack right there. Now I'm going to protect, because I think they're going to double my Scizor with like BP plus Thunder or something. Or Volt Switch. That's fine. I'm going to Sword Stance again. I can't Volt Switch there because I lose something much more important.
This is such an awkward lead. They're also leftovers. A little bit annoying. But not... Not impossible to deal with. I'm gonna Volt Switch now. I'm gonna hope that two bullet punches does it. Alright, that was good damage. But I'm also Life Orb, so... <laughs> Alright, that's in range of a second bullet punch. And I unfortunately have to sack this T-Tar. Because <laughs> Lottie's way too important to the matchup. Oh, they actually went for x -Scissor. Um, Is that fine? That might be fine. I think I just lose now. Yeah, I mean, they fake out my T-Tar, right? Because Raikou can't be faked out, but I should drop to a BP. I can attempt this, but I, it's likely not going to work out. Unless I crit. They protect, okay. Alright, yeah, I lose. Because I'm definitely in bullet punch range. Yeah, I mean, if Crunch crits somehow... Oh, I actually live that. That is crazy. That's actually insane. Um, one would assume they're just going to go for a Giga Drain on my Lottie, so I think I actually got that KO. Which is nuts. And actually really important to winning. Yo, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. My Reflect wore off. Or is it their Reflect? No, it's my Reflect, because they're definitely light clay on that, on that guy. There's the Polly. Um, how important is Raikou in this matchup now? Not terribly important. Alright, check out this play. Check out this play. I'm going to Tailwind here. Because it means that next turn my... Um, my T-Tar, or anything really, is going to be faster than their whole team. And I should be able to take like everything. They could also Perish. I know Nora likes to use Perish a lot. Alright, that's fine. Let's see if I get Ice Beamed. I definitely tank an Ice Beam, though. Scald, that's fine. That's actually pretty much exactly what I wanted. Okay. Now I go into T-Tar.
And I need to get rid of Politoed if I want to win. I could also get rid of Ludicolo, expecting them to switch out the Politoed, which they might. Um, but no, I have to get rid of Politoed because they can just very easily go for Trick Room here. Or go for Parish Song. This is a very easy Parish Song turn. And that unfortunately means I have to Draco. They withdraw Ludicolo, that's not the end of the world. They're probably just going to Parish Song. So if I get this KO, that actually might allow me to win. Alright, I connect. These things are typically Citrus Berry, so I don't think I actually KO this. Yeah. I need to, like, crit this crunch. And Parasong. You ready? We're going to see a Parasong and I'm going to lose. There it is. There it is. It's Parish Song. Here comes the Parish Song. Um, we still have a chance. It's not great. Hollytoad protects here, and obviously the Raikou has to um, attack. If I can crit a Draco Meteor, I have a solid chance of winning. And that's kind of funny. If I have to crit this, though, I absolutely have to crit this, because Raikou doesn't typically run Protect. Nope, no crit. I lose. Because my out there would have been, um... I KO the Raikou this turn, forcing the Poly... Or forcing the Ludicolo to come in, and then I just... Click Rock Slide over and over again. If their Ludicolo doesn't have Protect and I can get like a double crit Rock Slide KO, then yeah. I'm literally just, I am literally coping so hard trying to win this game. They went for a Reflect, right? So my best chance is doubling the Politoed with another Draco. I have to keep Dracoing because I'm just banking for crits. Uh no, they know. They know how to win. Ooh, Citrus Berry. They got berries everywhere, hold up. That's wiki, right? Oh no, that's citrus, the other one was wiki. Minus six to show lack of dominance, of course. And with that, the game is over. I will once again click Draco Meteor. GG, best of three? Nah, I'm only doing best of ones on streams right now. GG's though. We are going pretty negative today, but I don't think I quite mind. Mainly just because, what is it, we lost two actual VGC matches and won another VGC match. And then the other two matches we lost were literally just people bringing six Pokemon. So it's not that bad. It feels like I'm losing a lot today. But in reality, like two of those games that I lost were actually against people who didn't know the rules. This one's a legit loss though, but it was a very fun game, so I don't really mind. I'm going to upload it. Our main team is actually too fun. Oh, we got triple starters. Triple starters kind of shuts down this team, not gonna lie. However, Entei goes crazy. 
Entei goes crazy here. And I think I have to bring Togekiss. I mean, they have a couple of answers to Togekiss. Maybe bring Top. Top isn't that bad, but it's only on the condition that... Maybe I bring Chomp, actually. I think I... Do I bring Chomp? I don't want to bring Chomp. Chomp's actually really solid here. I'll bring Chomp, but I have to deal with a lot of things before Chomp works. Alright, let's hope that they know it's uh, four Pokemon. Sorry, I was checking a tweet. Er, uh, let me see. I mean, Infernape, like a non-issue here. I can probably go right out into my Gyarados, all things considered. Do I want to lock into Sacred Fire, though? I think I do. I'll go right into Gyarados for the Intimidate. All right. Yeah, they did bring four, thankfully. Good. Route 1 podcast is, like, talking about stuff right now. Uh, I'm not really scared of this Torterra. I should be able to, like, Dragon Dance for free. I'm gonna go into Chomp here. Actually, maybe I... Do I want to intimidate this thing? I'm a little bit scared it's gonna, like, Rock Polish is the main thing. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. It's a little risky. They could Rock Slide. In fact, they're probably going to Rock Slide. But unless it's like Choice Band, I'm fine. Alright, CC. Hey, thanks for the follow, Gengar. Yeah, I saw that Tailwind was up. Rock Slide. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, not the end of the world. A little bit annoying. I do get my D-Dance off, which is nice. Hmm. The question is, do I outspeed this thing when it's under Tailwind? And that's actually kind of a difficult question to answer. Um, it doesn't really matter as soon as I get my Entei back in, so I don't really care. I'm going to protect and I'm just going to go for it. Because I, I have to go for Choice Band Sacred Fire. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Actually, actually, maybe that's fine, actually. I should just be stalling out. Alright, uh, Garchomp in the late game is going to be really nice. I'm going to go into Minectra because I, I really don't need it, and I'm going to hope that I'm faster now. It depends how much speed investment they gave this Torterra. I'm hoping it's like none. 
All right, I eat that up because I'm Manectric. World's fattest Manectric. Come on, Gyarados, be faster. Yes, okay, that's gone. That's gone, nice. Uh, we definitely just win. That was close, that was close. But everything's taking damage on their side of the field. Or anything that would have a Sash is taking damage, I guess. Um, and I can Volt Switch on this Kiss and just Waterfall on the Infernape. Actually, I, I don't do that because I end up winning with Entei regardless. So I'm going to just double into this. Or, no, I don't do that. I still Waterfall. In case they, you know, don't follow me or whatever. They mock Punch. Yo, world's fattest Manectric. <laughs> they're like, how did that... They're like, how did it live? I'm Iron Fist Life Orb. How did that live? Nah. Nah, world's fattest Manectric. Coming through every single time. All right. Get an epic little KO there. Guys, we're at 75 viewers. I have to say thank you all for tuning into the stream tonight. I really appreciate that you all came through for me today. Um, if you haven't followed, please follow the stream. And if you haven't already checked out my YouTube, here's the YouTube. And if you haven't checked out the Discord, there's the Discord. Be sure to join the Discord. That's actually how you can uh, keep in touch with my channel the best. And I can just Sacred Fire or Waterfall. It doesn't matter now. And there we go. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Does this live? It doesn't live this. No, it doesn't live this. There's no chance. Powerful move. Choice Band Sacred Fire is the most consistent damage output in this entire game. Believe me, it's crazy. But yeah. Uh, that was a pretty solid last game. And thank you, Apex Rapid Panda. This is my first year and watch your YouTube videos all the time, though. Hey, I appreciate you coming through. I appreciate you coming through. I'm trying to stream a lot. I'll be streaming... Um, I might not stream Monday night. I'm going to be streaming over the weekend a bit more to make up for the fact that I'm probably not streaming Monday night. And I'm also probably not streaming Wednesday night I because next week I have a lot of stuff going on with like family. But I'm going to try to stream over the weekend to make up for that.